Today I'm showing you a 2 million plus souls per hour farm. This is an in-game farm. It was discovered by El Stinky. I want to give him credit for that. I looked it up. I didn't, My run is not the same. I made it a little bit faster, a little bit better. But he did discover the initial run, so props to him. So a couple of things are needed. The consecrated snow field, you're going to need to come here. Now I'm going to have links in the description below for how to get the weapon, how to get the snow field, how to solve the puzzle, all that. So you can just check the description below and find how to do anything that you don't already know how to do. So you're going to have to get to the consecrated snow field. Once you've reached here, then you're going to make your way to the Ardena town and solve the puzzle there. That video is also in the description below. Once you have solved this puzzle, you will gain access to the Haugdri Canopy. Once you have reached here, you're going to have to make your way down the tree and reach the Haugdri tree, whatever, town safe point. Now, in order to get 2 million plus souls per hour, you're going to need chicken fingers. So, I don't currently have that. I'm going to have to add a video for how to get that um, tomorrow. But you'll still get like 1.5 million plus per hour without that. You're also going to need the golden scarab. So I'll have that link in the description below as well. And now I'll show you exactly how to do the run. So you can maximize time and get the most amount of souls per time. So if I had chicken fingers, I would get more souls per kill, but I don't. I just have the golden scarab. But I'm going to show you exactly all the timings and the marks of where to use what. So you're going to sprint to the box, basically dead center of the box, use your flame attack. Sprint to the banister, turn right, dead center of the two enemies, use your flame attack. If you don't have a ton of FP, top off your FP. Don't go too far. Try to use your flame attack before you even move. And then aim. And aim right to the left of the first zombie. Now if this dude... Oh wow. Okay. So this is a perfect example. I'll show you two runs. If he's already sprinting at you. And he's aggroed on you. Or he makes it over the ledge. Then you can just run and evade him. So we're aiming basically right to the left of the banister. You can jump back to evade that dude. Sometimes if he's aggressive, he could catch you with a grab. Next, we're going to come back over here. We're going to go this way, kind of right here. I'll show you the mark in a second. I just want to create a little bit of distance. And there's the boss. Basically, we're aiming for the light on the wall. That candlestick, that's what we're aiming for. And uh, that's it. Don't worry about the one or two stragglers. Just reset the, the run. And I'll show you one more run so you can see a better example of when the boss is not charging at you. Also, I didn't turn as quick as I should because I was explaining. Once again, I would be getting more souls if I was using the chicken finger. This run takes about a minute. Uh, I don't know exactly how long the chicken finger lasts. Uh, I read it take it last uh, like two to three minutes, so it should be two to three runs. Immediately turn, use your beam cannon. You gotta hit him at least three times. You hit him three times, use the flame attack. That'll finish him. I got a little lucky there. Sometimes he's walking. Oh, there's one thing to note. So, if he is not aggro at all, if he's not running, he's not walking, and he's just, like, staying there, walking back and forth, not aggro to you, you gotta use a bow and arrow, a crossbow, or a dagger, any projectile to get his attention. That's why I have these throwing knives on me. So... If you count in three pillars, you see that grassy patch right next to the third pillar in on the right? Well, 
once he is about even to that grass, you can hit him with the beam cannon from right here. So spam the beam cannon. Once you have hit him with the beam cannon, do not let up. If he jumps, then run, and or you could try to finish him off. And if he gets to the ledge and he's like right at the ledge after hitting him with the three beam cannons and he's still on the other side, use your flame attack because it's the safer bet. This is just to show you, you don't always catch them all, but I'm aiming right here. Generally, that dude didn't run out. He should have ran out. But sometimes you catch them all, sometimes you miss one on that one. And that's it. The run only takes about a minute. And with the chicken fingers, you can rack up 2 million plus souls per hour. Once again, how to get the weapon, how to unlock... Um, this area how to get the medallions to unlock the area that you have to unlock that to get that unlock in i'll have all those links in the video description below for the people who don't already know and uh happy hunting i hope that helps